Yes, it's uh, Gary Nuska here with ICIWorld.tv with my friend and co-host David Grossman from All Talk TV who's helping us uh, incubate more TV programs. Thanks Gary, doing a great job hosting today. It's a pleasure <laughs> well, to be co-hosting with you. Well, thank you and I have you to thank for that. <laughs> My pleasure. And um, we have a very special guest here today, uh, Peter Massey, is that how you say it Peter? And uh, Peter is a graduate of a business degree in Denmark and um, he's a specialist in educating people in residential investment uh, real estate with some unique training methods here today. And he's taken some leadership on this and he's got a large following of people who are taking advantage of all his services. And one of the things he um, is a, uh, a product of is the rich dad, poor dad. And I know you have some maybe questions on that, David, that uh, maybe you could ask on uh, sure. about well, the rich I mean, dad, poor I, dad. We I, both I, heard of it. So I have a soft spot for the rich dad, poor dad, because, uh, <laughs> because I, I can personally relate to that. You know, my dad's a professional, hardworking guy, yeah. um, but, you know, always struggling. And the concept that behind the whole rich dad, poor dad was that, you know, you got to put your... Um, uh, your your your, uh, your your assets to work for you. That's right. Um, and so you know, so it, it, the book uh, meant a lot to me. So, do you want to tell us, um, you know, in, in your words, what's what's the concept behind Rich Dad Poor Dad, and what's it all about? Yeah, absolutely. And that's a great question. This is a question that we get quite often from students that come through our organization. And uh, we must admit that one of the things that that book does, uh, ever since Robert wrote that book, is, is it makes people think twice about where they are today and where they need to go. And in, uh, as part of the book, Robert talks about what we know now as the cash flow quadrant, where it's basically a, a, a four-step scenario where you've got on the left-hand side of the quadrant, you've got the, the E and the S's, or the employees, or the self-employed people. And then on your right-hand side, you've got the B's and the I's, or the business owners and the investors. And uh, uh, Robert paints a really clear picture for people to recognize where they are in that quadrant. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes most people, like you were saying, are on the left-hand side of the quadrant. They're either employees working for somebody else or they're self-employed, where they're basically owning their own job. Yes. And his mission in, in the world is basically to take people from the left-hand side and taking them over to the right-hand side into the B and the I quadrant. And, and that's what he have put together uh, through Rich Dad Education is, is for people to realize and understand how you can move from the left-hand side to the right-hand side into the BNDI quadrant, basically. Mm -hmm. This must be quite exhilarating when you get people to do that and you've got success stories. Uh, yes. Do you want to mention some success stories that you've had uh, yeah. doing some of that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, myself, I'm the product of the product, as we like to call it. And when I got into the program about seven years ago, I virtually went from being in a job full time, uh, both myself and my wife. And so what we did was when we took some of this education, we started realizing how much potential there is out there to create passive income and wealth. Um, and so what we did was we basically took the education and started investing uh, and virtually within six month time frame we were able to create enough passive income for one of us to quit, quit our full time job just simply by following the things that that we learned through Robert's program and be able to get out there and apply it now the other good thing about this program also is that we, they offer a mentor that can come with you into your local market and start applying it so as for myself that's basically where I've been I have seen hundreds of other students students gone through our program and basically uh, develop if not the same result but even better than that have been able to uh, excel and exceed further way further more than where, what I have done personally in, a, in order for them to create a passive income and be able to retire from their job and strictly focusing on uh, real estate okay so um, what is the typical profile of somebody who can become an investor who like do you need to have a lot of money to get into the market, uh, what's involved with the training, how much time is required? Great question. Uh, uh, first of all, you know, in, in our classes that we, that we offer from an education perspective, we have seen students that were as young as 20 years old all the way up until 75 years of age. So we don't really pinpoint any age structure as to when you can do it. We believe you can do it when you're ready to do it, whether you're young or old or middle age. Uh, now, from a money perspective, interestingly, you're asking, uh, you know, a lot of people think the conventional way of acquiring an asset. And the conventional way that we know when you go out to buy properties, putting 25% down on every single deal. 
Now, magically, Robert has created a scenario where we have some creative financing techniques that we teach our students uh, in terms of how to create something creatively so you can at least put lesser of your own money and getting maybe the seller involved into a deal so that we can basically acquire more assets. On that point, what you're talking about is there's many things that you do to help people succeed and create wealth. That's right. So you're talking about one particular, is this a class, this one on the cash flow uh, in residential, for instance, how to increase your cash flow in residential, vendor take back more. That's one of the things you mentioned to me, which I found interesting. Mm -hmm. You're teaching people, you just don't have to go to a bank to get a mortgage. There's an, another way to kind of do it. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Can you expand on that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as part of our elite uh, training program that we have with Rich Dad Education, uh, myself, I teach one of those elite classes. That class is called the Master Investor Class. And when students come through that class, what we basically do is we teach them how to understand to look for good deals. Good deals from motivated seller, good deals where you're buying it below value so you can allow creativity to happen on a deal. You see, if we go out there and try to pay full price for properties, it's tough to become very creative. But if we're finding motivated seller and are able to purchase properties below value, much more is possible from a creative perspective. So therefore, in my class, that's one of my goal is to make students understand how we look at it from an investor's eyes and get out there and find these deals. Then what I help them do is figuring out how to analyze the deal, go through the process of getting in touch with the seller and basically negotiating on putting an offer out and basically take it to the next level, which then becomes negotiating on a creative financing scenario and how they can make the deal happen, basically. The um, couple of aspects to that, of course, one of them is finding a motivated seller. That's right. How are you finding things? Are you generally working in the GTA area? I know what your company is doing is all across Canada. Canada. Yeah. And uh, how are you finding opportunities in the GTA? Very good. Uh, now, in the GTA, obviously, there's opportunity just like there is uh, outside of GTA. One thing that we have come to realize as investors is, is when you're in a core of a city, whether it be in Toronto or Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, it doesn't really matter. They kind of have the same concept. What we tend to see is our prices are inflated. Okay, and when we're dealing with an inflated price versus how much rent we can collect on these properties, typically there is a mismatch. Okay, so what we do teach our students, say assuming we've got a class full of students that are from the GTA, we always teach them to use the same pattern and same behavior whether they're looking in GTA or outside. So what they typically will do is they'll put that behavior into place in the GTA and start looking for properties. Are they able to find some that's great? We will work with them and helping them purchase the properties. However, if they're unable to find anything within their own zone, then what we do teach them is start expanding outside the bigger city. One of the biggest philosophies that we teach in, in Rich Dad Education is we as investors, we don't sit and wait for the money to come to us. Meaning we won't just sit and wait for properties to come to us in GTA or in any other cities. We actually chase the properties. So we will teach them how to go outside their own zone. Sometimes that is also a comfort zone for them and start working outside the city so they can find the good cash flow and properties. Okay, so you're looking and you know, the, the cap rates enter into it, return That's on investment absolutely. enter into it. Yes, And do you have certain cap rates that you're looking for? That's right, yeah. Personally, as well as my students that I teach, we're looking at a minimum of 10% of a cap rate. If anything comes below 10, uh, if it's closer to 10, we will do a little bit more due diligence. If it's way below 10, we simply walk away. Is there sometimes you have a 10, but you want to create something or even a, an eight or a nine, might you even make an offer that might produce a 10 and maybe they'll accept it and maybe they won't? Great question. Yes, absolutely. When we're closer to then, I'll probably say anywhere between eight and a half, nine, and then up towards 10. It, oftentimes what you can do is you can put an offer out and then once you start a negotiation process, tweak things from a price perspective so you can bring that cap rate up. So that sometimes can happen. But if it's way below 10, say it's a three, four, or five, oftentimes it's tough to push it up to 10. You know, Peter has such a wealth of experience in this business. Uh, there's no way that we can try and learn more from his brain because he's full of good things for people. We're going to have to have him back again on another one of these shows. We'll have to have him back. There's a lot of good information. And if people want to uh, find out more, they should go to the website, I That's think. Right, yeah. uh, Peter Masihi, they go, go to Rich Dad Education. Com, find That's out right. more and sign up for some training. Absolutely, yes. Very good.
Okay, thanks very much for being thanks here. For We're being talking here. to Peter Masihi on Keeping It Real on All Talk TV. We'll be back shortly.